Hi everyone and welcome back to another Encadet video. If you remember a few months ago, we created a video showing how to install OpenSIF in GCP. Today, we are going to see how to update OpenSIF in GCP, but this will be valid for whatever other platform. First, we need to install our cluster. And to do that, I recommended you to go to our previous video, but at the end, the idea is to have an install config YAML file with our setup and then execute OpenSIF install create cluster minus minus did install minus minus lock level equal debug. And after long time, your cluster will be installed. As you remember in our video, we are using OKD, the open version of OpenSIF. We are currently in 4.13, waiting for 4.14 in OKD and in OpenSIF. But there are some difference between the version names between OKD and OpenSIF, but we will see that in this video. We are going to start with OKD 4.10, that will correspond to OpenSIF 4.10. And the idea is to move until 4.13. And to do that first, we need to prepare our cluster. When we want to upgrade a cluster, we need to do a number of steps first. We need to be queued admin. And if we are not like that, we need to use airbag to give to us permissions to be able to do that great. We need to create an etc backup. And to do that, we are going to use one of the masters. And to get the name of the masters, we execute OC get nodes. And now that we know one of the name of our masters, we can connect to the terminal with the command OC debug minus minus as root node and the name of the node. And when we are there, we execute ch root host. And now we can execute our command to do the backup of our etcd database. USR, local bin, cluster backup.sh, slash home, core asset backup. And after a while, we are going to end with a etcd backup. We can do two things. We can leave the backup there or the correct idea. We can copy this and we can put in our machine on any other place. Other thing that we need to do is because we are going to move to 4.13, we need to remember that, for example, the support in the work is for Red Hat dot seven is removed, and the minimum version is Red Hat dot eight. Remember that in the masters we cannot use Red Hat seven, neither Red Hat eight. All your operators needs to be up to date. This is not in our case because, as you see, we are starting a new installation, so all our operators are updated. But remember that we need to update yours. None of our machines config pool can be paused. So if this is the case, you need to start all your machines config pool. Other point to consider before we do the update is because we are going to jump to 4.13, we are going to upgrade our Kubernetes version to the 1.26 from the 1.24, if I remember correctly, that we have in the 4.10 in OpenSIF. And some of the APIs are going to be deprecated. And to check that, we need to see, for example, all the API calls that we are running. For example, if we execute this OC API request count, we are going to see all the counts that we have for whatever of the version. But with the same command, but with these parameters, as you can see on the screen, we are going to be able to see only the ones that are going to be removed in the release. What we need to do is now, we need to find all the workloads using those APIs, and depends on the documentation, we need to fix the issue because when we upgrade to the latest version, the APIs could be deprecated. And the last thing before we start the date is pause the machine health check resources. And to do that, we need to do the command OC get machine health check minus n OpenSIF machine API, where we get the name of this machine health check. And after that, we stop with OC minus n OpenSIF machine API, annotate MSH, the name of the machine health check that we get before, and now cluster.x kubernetes.io pause equal nothing. And remember, you need to reactivate when you do the update with the command OC minus N OpenSIF machine API annotate MHA the name of the machine health check and then this command that you can see on the screen. Now everything is ready. And now we can go from the 4.10 to the 4.13. So if we execute OPC version, we can see that we have a version 4.10. But this OKD version is different, as I've told you, with the numbers of, of the version that we have in OpenSIF. But this is not a problem. If we are working with OpenSIF, not with OKD, there is a tool that is called Red Hat OpenSIF Container Platform Update Graph. And this tool is going to show to us all these upgrade paths that we need to have. Do you see, for example, if we have a current channel, we move to a stable, 4.10, and now if we say that we want to start with the 4.10.3 as the current official 
offensive version. And if our target is the 4.13, the latest version that in this case is the 4.13.14, all the steps that we need to do to do the upgrade are the four that we have on the screen. So first, we jump from the 4.10.3 to the 4.10.56 to the 4.11.50 to the 4.12.36 to the 4.13.14. So it's not an easy path, but okay, it's all the steps that we need to do. The plan is next. We are going to do this OC patch cluster version, and then we set up the channel, and then we execute the command OC ADN upgrade. But we can do it in this way, or in the way that we are going to do in OKD. So there is a CLI version, the one that we saw before, but there is a Wii version too. And to do this Wii version, it's going to be much, much simple. And the first thing that we need to do is click on the button to update to the first minor version. And this is going to take a long time. But, and when this is updated to this minor version of 4.10, we can go to the latest version of 4.10. And when we are already in the latest version of 4.10, we can change the channel to the 4.11. And when this channel is set it up, we can click and update to the latest version of 4.11. And then we can go to the latest version of 4.12 as soon as we change the channel and the latest version of 4.13. <laughs> Again, it's not the sort process, but it's the way to do that. So we saw today how to do the upgrade of OpenSIF in OKD, but at the end, it's the same thing. I hope that you understand all the steps. I hope that you enjoy and see you next time. Do you think your project infrastructure is well set and maintained? We know for sure there is always room for improvement. If you are uncertain where to begin, let's first do an audit of what you already have. We will review your setup from every angle, performance, cost, security, high availability, automation, and provide you with a detailed roadmap of which direction your infrastructure should go, generate concrete tasks for you to implement, or even take on your infra entirely, if you let us, of course.